Good evening. I'm Sandy Spavoni, Executive Director of Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. At FCCLA, we provide programs and opportunities for youth that promote personal growth and leadership development. I'm so excited to be part of tonight's program and to recognize the amazing work of so many outstanding youth advocates. In particular, I'd like to congratulate one of our own, FCCLA youth, Abby Hefner of Paducah, Kentucky. Abby used her personal experiences to initiate a peer-to-peer -peer vaping education program in a number of schools about the dangers of e-cigarettes. She has advocated at the state and federal levels to end the sale of all flavored tobacco products and even shared her personal story at a press conference held by Speaker Nancy Pelosi in support of the Reversing the Youth Tobacco Epidemic Act of 2019. I'm so proud to stand with the Campaign for Tobacco-Free Kids and congratulate Abby as 2020 Youth Advocate of the Year. Congratulations, Abby. We're very proud of you. Hello, my name is Abby Hefner. I'm from Paducah, Kentucky, and I'm so honored to be accepting this award tonight. What inspired me to get involved in tobacco prevention was just seeing how it had affected my life and impacted me. I didn't want to have to watch my younger siblings or any really anyone else have to go through those same struggles, especially knowing how hard it is to get off of it. The first product I ever tried was a Juul. It was mint flavored, so back before all the bands started. I was at a high school football game, and a lot of my friends were there, and a few of them had one, and were passing it around to everyone, kind of just letting everyone try it. The first time I ever used a Juul, I was immediately hooked. I bought one immediately that day and started using it daily and then it'd be closer to hourly and then every 30 minutes at least. I think at my school it started out as a like a social thing, everyone was doing it, but then very quickly it just became a bunch of people hooked on and it. I realized that I first wanted to quit using Juul when I would experience mood swings or headaches or just really irritability from not having it and I would crave it all the time. So after a few attempts of me trying to quit, I finally was able to. Sharing my story with the media especially and lawmakers and politicians is something that I never thought I would be able to do, would get up in front of all these people and speak about myself. But just when you're really passionate about something, it comes so easily to just speak about something, especially if you know it could be helping other people. Being able to speak in support of the Reversing the Youth Tobacco Epidemic Act of 2019 felt really empowering and felt like I was doing something that could make a real change, make a difference, get into the heads of the lawmakers and the people who could do something about this terrible issue that's taking over our youth. My goal for reversing the act is to get e-cigarettes completely eliminated, especially the flavors. That's what's really attracting teenagers specifically. Going to speak at the press conference in DC with Speaker Nancy Pelosi was an incredible experience. It definitely took my advocacy work to the next level. Congratulations, Abby. Now tell us, how are you gonna use your strong voice next? I'm gonna use my strong voice to talk to lawmakers and educate the youth. 